Hi, welcome back to day seven of the Light the World Build the Kingdom Challenge, where every day we start off by asking our Heavenly Father to give us something we can do that day to light the world, to build the kingdom of God, to make a difference in the world around us, and to shed Christ's light uh, into the world. So today I just had a little bit of a thought for you on um, how everything that goes on in our lives actually can work together for our good. I'm in Romans 8 today, and uh, Romans 8, 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. I've always loved that verse, and I think it speaks to uh, looking for the good. You know, a lot of times bad things happen in our lives, things that are hard, things that are challenging, but when you realize that, hey, they're all being orchestrated for my good, um, they're not things aren't falling apart they're falling into place and sometimes there's got to be some chaos on the way to everything coming together the way it ought to be and so um, I've been through some difficult things over the last two months but as I've looked for the good and looked for how things might be falling into place for me rather than oh it's all falling apart um, I'm seeing things start to come together for me and uh, and that same chapter has another really good aspect to it. It's uh, over in verse 35. He said, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? If you hop down to 38, it says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature can, shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I love that, and it's really kind of been driven home for me over this uh, last couple months. Well, it's almost three months since my mother died, and um, and I have not felt separated from her love. It uh, death has not impacted that. That that love that I feel for my mother is still there, and if anything, it feels like it's magnified because um, I'm I'm sure she's an angel looking over me and uh, taking care of me and, and making sure that those things work together for my good. So I'm thinking if my own earthly mother can give me that kind of love and make me feel that way about uh, the eternal nature of love, then how much more um, would it be impossible for us to be separated from the love of Jesus Christ? I mean, His love is just, you know, millions of times greater than anything we experience here in this earthly realm, I'm sure. So, um, Nothing can separate us from that. He wants to bless us. He wants to give us good things. And uh, when we look for Him, even in the challenges, He's there in all of it. He never goes away. He's always there. And so maybe as we think about how we could be a light to others today, how we could share Christ's light with others, we might help them remember that God loves them, that His love is not going away just because they're having a tough time. And to look for Him, Help other people, um, well, well, first start with ourselves. <laughs> Look for him and the little things, and that will shift our attitude. And then help other people. Help our spouses or our children or our friends or family members see him and the little things and see how things are going to work together for their good. I think that gives people a lot of hope to know that. And hope is everything. I mean, without hope, you don't have much. And with hope, anything is possible. So I hope you'll join us in the 90-day challenge. Every morning we're just asking our uh, Father in Heaven to give us one thing we can do today to um, build the kingdom of God, to be a light, to help other people. Because when we're in the service of our fellow beings, we are only in the service of our God. And so please do that. Share your experiences. Uh, use some of our hashtags if you decide you want to share some things that are happening for you throughout the day as you use this 90-day challenge. Um, we've got the three hashtags there. Uh, if you want to see previous episodes, um, go to lighttheworldnow.com and you can see those episodes. I'm going to be loading everything in each day in there. And then, uh, you know, share this challenge with people. Anybody that you think could benefit from it or be blessed by it, tag them in the comments. Um, that'll just give them a little notification, a little heads up. It won't actually stick anything on their wall if you tag them in the comments. It'll just let them know, hey, you might be interested in this. 
or share it on your wall if you feel inspired to do so or, so, or send it in a private message to somebody that you think could benefit from this. It really shifts the way you look at your life and things start to open up for you. I'm already seeing, I've been doing this a week and I'm already seeing a big mushroom in the blessings that are coming to me just in a big way. Things are starting to really fall into place where they really honestly felt quite stuck before. I was feeling rather stuck in, you know, in a lot of aspects of my life and now it's like the windows of heaven have opened up for me. So do this challenge. You can't afford not to do this challenge. It's pretty amazing. So um, anyway, take care. God bless. Love y'all. Bye-bye.